Um, in today's video, I'm just gonna jump right into it because I'm not gonna like be putting on makeup or anything for this video. So there's not gonna be like a before and after because the after is essentially me continuing to look like this, which is bright eyed, bushy tailed, fresh little virgin face, skin and such. Because I am going to be testing out the Annie Nice, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, Color Light Blackhead Remover. Um, I struggle with a ton of blackheads on my nose and then on my chin a lot. Um, I noticed them increasing when I started working outside of my home about four years ago. Um, and... I was wearing makeup pretty much every single day and I wash my face 98% of the time at night, but um, sometimes I didn't that 2%, I was just a bad, bad little girl and um, got an increase of blackheads. So what this guy says that it does is it says it reduces grease, reduces skin acne, exfoliates dead skin, removes blackheads and it's deep skin cleansing. Supposedly there's a 60 kPa suction. That sounds like a lot of suction. Um, five levels of intensity, convenient display, USB rechargeable, and a noiseless design. So what it comes with is one blackhead remover, one USB charge cable, operation manual, oval probe, small size circular probe, medium size circular probe one, medium size circular probe two, big size circular probe, random standby probe, and one times four piece blackhead extractor tools. Let's open it up. So you open the box and then you have this little cardboard doodad. And then you have the products in here. Um, and then more stuff on the bottom. I have no idea how to use this. So I'm gonna read this really quick. So I, I don't see anywhere where it's like telling you how to do it. It's basically just like, do it. Here's what it does, do it. But it doesn't really tell you how to do it. So, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and steam my face for probably about five minutes because I forgot to do that. I don't have a steamer and I'm not gonna like get in the shower right now. So I'm just gonna put a hot rag over my pores for about five minutes and let them open up. That is essential when you're trying to remove blackheads or like stubborn situations on your face. I do that every time. Um, like when I use those pore opening strips or like blackhead removal strips, I'll always open my Poor opening strips. I just woke up. I got my smoothie and tote. You know, I'm tired. Okay, let's get started with this bad boy. So, I my face is cleaned. I cleaned it this morning and then I didn't put on any moisturizer, um, toner, anything like that because I wanted a really fresh, bare base. Um, <clears throat> I just steamed my face, so hopefully my pores are awake and open and ready to be sucked on out. Um, I'm going to start with the large probe. The large probe says um, it is the large suction, easier to remove T area, stubborn blackheads, grease, cosmetics, residue, etc., etc. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this and see how she goes. Um, I'm going to start on level one. You can hear it. Let's see. I want to make sure you guys can see this. Oh. Oh, how do you do it? Ow! It's all on my face! Ow! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> it's actually kind of painful. Ow! Oh! oh. Some of these areas really hurt. <laughs> I want you to really see how it sucks. I'm gonna go over here so you can really see how it sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, mommy, <laughs> that 
That's on level two because... <laughs> okay, I don't recommend level two for the face. I only recommend it for maybe the nose. Oh, oh, oh God. Ew, you can like see all the residue in there. I don't know if you can be able to see that, but... Oh, that's nasty. But so satisfying. It's nasty, but so ugh, amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change out the probes. Ugh, that's disgusting. Because I'm going to use a probe that gets in there to like the harder to reach areas. Let's see. <clears throat> So that's medium sized probe too. You can see that it's like smaller than that guy. I put this on like level two and I'm gonna aim it mostly at my chin area. I'll go up here so you guys can see. Maybe, if you can see, I don't know. So now that I am nice and red slash bruised, I'm pretty sure I have bruised my face right there and it kind of looks like somebody gave me a hickey <laughs> right at the corner of my nose, which is the ultimate sexy. If you don't want to give hickeys on the corner of the nose, I don't even know what you're doing with your love life, to be honest. Maybe you should examine that. I spent like the first 15 minutes doing it wrong. Um, as I'm sure you saw in the video, I was like taking it and like holding it and letting it grab it, like grab it and suck it. <laughs> This is just funny and then like moving it downward because the suction was so strong when in reality what I was supposed to be doing was just like targeting specific blackhead areas and letting it do its job but just by holding it there and like releasing and like kind of going back and forth like that. I thought there were no instructions to this so I was like I don't know what the hell I'm doing but the very back the very bottom there's a little instruction here that talks about how you want to do it. So it says to pull away quickly and gently and then repeat. You're going to hold the probe over the blackhead. And you're just going to kind of repeat. You don't have to like fully let it suck and latch on it completely because the latch is very strong. So once I read the instructions and I put on my glasses so I can see what the hell I'm doing, I did a pretty decent job and I got to say it works okay. It, at first I was like, all this is doing is like bruising my skin and making my skin look really dry and horrible. Excuse me. But I'm still bruised because of what I did. <laughs> because of my mistakes of the past. But now that I was able to like hold it over certain blackheads and really like do what it was supposed to do. Um, it I could see it like sucking up, you know. And now I feel like there's a lot more residue in the chamber area. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. It kind of just sits on top. Um, there's a lot more residue in there and my skin definitely looks more clear and clean. I would say that I'm probably gonna try this again in a couple days. As long as the bruising and the swelling, I'm sure it will go away within a couple days. So as soon as that goes away, I think I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna let my skin get a little bit more like let the sensitivity go away a little bit and then I'm going to go back in and do it the way it's supposed to be done like fully instead of totally effing it up the first time and then trying to fix it. So I am not mad at this product and aside from the blackhead removal I feel like it would be really good at exfoliating. I did go over my like dry patchy areas that I have over here due to something. I'm not sure if it's like mild rosacea or what's happening but I always get these really dry scaly patches of redness right here so I did go over those areas and like very gently and just kind of exfoliate them a little bit so I'm hoping that helped and I mean aside from being like bruised and red I feel like my skin looks nice and supple I don't use that word enough supple so um I'm going to say 7 out of 10 for this bad boy, and maybe it'll be a 10 out of 10 after I, like, let my skin clear up and then fully do it the right way and not screw it up. I'm going to link it below, so if you want to check it out, you can do so. And on Thursday's video, I will make sure to let you all know how it's going, how the bruising looks, the redness, how long it took to go away, if I've tried it again, when I plan on trying it again, all that jazz.
So I appreciate you watching this video and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.